Hello, my friends. Happy Friday. Welcome to episode 99 of Why Did I Buy This? This series started as a way to help my crafters find unique ways to use products that they have in their collections. It's also a great series for new crafters who are wondering what they need to be successful. My name is Lindsay. I am the team leader for Cloud9 Stampers and I love to teach techniques. So this is a really fun series for me. As you can see, we've done 99 episodes. If you're new here, please know that you can go back into my Facebook uh, library, video library, and you can see all the previous episodes. You can also visit me on YouTube and see I've been posting the most recent ones, the last 20 or so there on, on YouTube as well. Um, hi friends, please say hello. Tell me how you're doing. Tell me if you're excited for the new catalog, which goes live on May 3rd. Third, I believe um, our new annual catalog the big book that one is going live here in the beginning of May so lots of new products to play with and of course it's always fun to see what's new hello Barbara from Victoria my daughter's in Victoria this week hello Beverly good to see you yeah say hi please I love um, when you say hello and let me know that you're here um, as a reminder, the best compliment that you can give me is to share this video with your friends. That just helps me know that you like what we're doing. You want other people to see it. So go ahead and hit share. Now's a good time to do that. Hello, Jacqueline. Nice to see you. Okay. Um, a couple of things. So we are wrapping up the April month. I still have a few class kits left. If you place an order that's $60 or greater before the shipping and tax, you are going to receive a free class in the mail. That free class has all the pre-cut supplies for four projects and all you need to be successful is to have a neutral ink pad, a greeting set of your choice, and some basic adhesive supplies like dimensionals, double-sided tape, mini glue dots, those kinds of things. Um, they, it comes in the mail. This is from my Canadian friends. It, it arrives in the mail and then I send you a video and the project sheet so that you can accomplish those at home. If your order reaches $100, you'll also receive a free set of embellishments from me as a gift and a thank you. You'll want to go ahead and use the host code and you'll find that on my ordering page of my website, cloud9stampers.com. Okay, friends. So we're wrapping up the new catalog or the old catalog and the last chance list is live. You can see what's still available on my website. Just hit the banner last chance list and um, those are all the retiring items and there are items up to 50% off so it's a good time to go look and shop. Hi Carrie, good to see you. Um, so go ahead and check that out before the month is over because that is the end. You won't be able to get those products anymore. Okay, I'm going to do the awkward transition and we're going to, I'm going to show you my hands and then we can get started with our projects for today. Thank you guys guys, for sharing the video. I see your shares. Thank you so much. Okay. We're gonna do a little zoomy zoom here. And the product that we're working with today is easy to miss. It's this one right here. So this is the color lifter and it's part of our Stampin' Blends collection. So if you look at the bottom of each one of our color families, you'll see what colors we have our Stampin' Blends available in. So this is a non-color, this color lifter. And this is what it looks like, $6 Canadian. And it looks like this. It's built like a Stampin' Blend where it's got a pen end and a brush end. And it's literally a um, clear fluid. There's no color. It's not It's not white, it's, it's clear. Oh, before we get going officially, I need to give you guys my face so you can see who you're talking to. Okay, there we go. Hello. Okay, let's get started. So the first way to use the color lifter is we are going to do some um, coloring, obviously. So I'm bringing in a stamp from the set Best Delivery. This was from our mini catalog. So we're gonna use our little truck here and I'm going to ink that up with Memento. So when you're coloring with Stampin' Blends, Memento is the recommended ink. It interacts with our alcohol markers in the way that you hope so that they're not going to bleed. So we're just gonna go ahead and stamp the truck. I'm bringing in some of our pink. So this is the polished pink, which is one of our in colors. This is one that's carrying forward. And I'm gonna start with my darkest color first. I'm gonna go around where the lines of the truck are. We're kind of making it look like there's a little bit of um, extra texture there. 
And when I'm coloring with blends, I like to go just up to the edge and try not to go over it. And that way, if the alcohol has a mind of its own and wants to keep going, it's not going to seep outside of the lines of your image. So just like that, I'm gonna kind of go all the way around like so. Now I'm bringing in the, um, this is Melon Mambo actually. So it's kind of just a little bit darker than the polished pink and I'm going all the way around the edges. We're just going kind of above and beyond to create that extra texture of coloring. Okay, like that. Hello, Joy. Thanks for joining us. Okay, just like this. We're gonna go all the way around the edges here. Beautiful. And then we're bringing in the light polished pink and we're gonna go now and fill in the center part of it. So blends are amazing. This is just kind of a, a refresher. They're alcohol based and they are intended to blend colors together. So have you ever had that where you can see on my image the lines of the truck where I have laid down the darker pink and the lighter pink, they just look a little bit harsh. So you can continue to kind of blend with your light marker. And then I'm going to bring in our color lifter and the color lifter is designed to do exactly that. So if you go over the place where those harsh lines are, it kind of erases the lines and lifts the color so that you get a lighter spot on the image. So it takes a few minutes to kind of interact. You can already see it's lifting off and so we're just gonna go ahead and kind of blend that in where we have this lighter spot on our truck. While we're waiting for that to finish, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm gonna bring in my smoky slate and we're gonna color in some on our truck. I'm gonna bring in my dark one and I'm gonna use the pen end just to get a little bit more control with where we're coloring. Hi, Kathy. Thanks for saying hello. I uh, can't believe we're on 99 episodes, you guys. So, um, sorry, I feel like I've been doing this a lot recently. It's just kind of like real life is starting to catch up again. Um, I'm not going to be doing the official 100th episode this coming week, um, in the first week of May, because I'm actually going to Hawaii. My husband is an accountant and we've been all living through tax season. Even though we don't do the taxes, we all live through tax season when you live with an accountant. Um, so he's been working seven days a week for the last couple of months. So we're going to Hawaii as a little break for him. Yeah, I'm so excited. So um, when I get back, I will do my official 100th episode because we can't rush that. We have to like give it some time. Do you know what I mean? Okay, again, you can see on the gray, we're going to go ahead and just take away some of that color, lift the color with our color lifter. And then we're going to bring in the greeting, which is from the same stamp set, it's a birthday one. And we're going to go ahead and stamp that where we've lightened it up. So now we get a really nice highlighted look on our truck. Now to complete this card, we're doing a fancy fold card. So I've already done some scoring. I'm just gonna bring that in so you can see. So I've gone ahead and pre-scored this at two inches, three inches, five and three eighths, and seven and three quarter inches. So if you wanna go ahead and screenshot that so that you've got those dimensions, then you will be ready for the next step. Okay, so the next thing is, I'm going to go ahead and do some folding where those score lines are. And we want it to be, I don't know what the name of this fancy fold is, but we're going to have it set up like this. Cool, right? Okay, so let me show you the finished project. I went ahead and I fussy cut out our little truck. And then this is the card. So, and then when you pop it open, it looks like that. Cute, right? It looks like it's driving off the card. So here we've got just those little balloons kind of emphasizing this part of it here. Again, from the best delivery stamp set. Those two images are there. And then, yeah, you've got this really fun card. Okay, we're gonna move on to the next card. So this time, this technique I learned just recently 
And I think it was Martin Stone, who's one of the Stampin' Up's Artisan team members who taught this last week. So I'm gonna showcase it for you here. So we're using the Happy Hedgeco Hedgecogs, Hedgehogs stamp set. And this one has a punch that coordinates with it. So I'm going to go ahead and just use my Memento ink to stamp a little hedgehog. Wait, I wanna see how you punch it out. We're gonna go over here, okay? Like that. And instead of using Stampin' Blends, we are going to use watercolor pencils. Say what? I know. So this is the assortment too, and it's got some of my favorite colors in it. So I love, love, love this one. And we're going to bring in my early espresso first, and we're gonna do a little light layer where his uh, naked part, where the, the hedgehog is not spiky, just like that. And then where his spiky part is, we're gonna go thick. So really lay on that pigment. So if you don't, you could use many, many things to work with these watercolor pencils. You could use a water painter, you could use a blender pen, but here's a fun fact, you can use your color lifter. So the color lifter, we're gonna bring it in here and we're gonna go over top of where the little naked part is and it's just gonna blend that watercolor brush and then we're gonna go over top of the spiky part and see it just acts like a blender pen so it helps to blend that color so it doesn't look so uh, pencil crayon -y. is that cool or what and then just scribble it off and then it runs clear and it'll be fine now I love the SU1000 natural tone marker for adding cheeks. So we're gonna go ahead and just add a little cheek here on our hedgehog. We're also gonna color the inside of its ear. I know, Carrie, what? I know, it's awesome, right? So just a little cheek. And now we're going to bring in the punch. And we're gonna punch out our little hedgehog, just like that. Okay, so like ridiculously cute, right? So let's just kind of show you another little fun fact. So here's the bird. So we're gonna use this bird. We're gonna fussy cut this bird out eventually. I'm not gonna make you watch me do it. Um, but same thing, we're gonna do some really heavy pigment on the wings and tail. And then we're gonna go lighter up here. And you don't have to be perfect because our blender pen or sorry, our color lifter is gonna do the hard work for us. So we're gonna go over top of where we've laid down that color. Just nice because it gives you some control of our markers and um, you can kind of fill in blanks on places that you don't, on markers you don't have in your collection with your watercolor markers. Ah, uh, Kathy, good, I'm glad you're learning how to use it today. Okay, so let me show you the finished project. So here we've got a cute little card with our punched out hedgehog and our fussy cut bird. I brought in the brass butterflies and here is from last week. Do you remember the um, the ribbon that we talked about? So the frayed ribbon is added on as a border along the bottom and then you can see in the backdrop we've got an, one of our embossing folders. It's so cute, right? Ah, oh, I love it too. Okay, so that's project number two with our color lifter. Project number three is kind of a fun abstract technique. So let's get started on that one. So first of all, I have um, pre-cut out a piece of basic white cardstock using my favorite dies, the Beautiful Shapes dies. So what I love about this is it not only cuts out the circle, but it gives you an embossed edge, which just makes it so much more interesting. And we are going to bring in our Stampin' Blends again. So this time, I'm going to do some coloring. I'm just gonna go right over top of the edge of our little circle here. Okay, so this is smoky slate. No, gray granite. My bad, gray granite. And then 
We're gonna take in so saffron. This is the dark so saffron. And we're gonna go on the other side and color that in. Okay. So you can do a couple of things. We're gonna create a textured background on this. So with your color lifter, you can go ahead and just add concentrated circles of the fluid that's in there. So you could just do polka dots. So you can see as it starts to interact with our blends and it starts to lift off that color, you get those little dots starting to form. You could take your lid and you could splatter like we do with our markers. Or if you wanna get really intense with this technique, you could bring in a bottle of alcohol. The alcohol will react with the alcohol and you can flick big strips of it on there so it's not so even. So just depending on the look you're going for, oops, I just lost my straw. Um, depending on the look that you're going for, you can you know, kind of decide how you want it to look. So I'm kind of going for the messy look here. So we're really lifting color with this alcohol. All right. Now I'm bringing in a, I really, really went to town with the alcohol, but you can see as it's starting to interact, you're getting that really fun look. So I've got a card base that's four and a quarter by four and a quarter. And I used that, the beautiful shapes to create four circles. And we're going to layer those onto our card front. So we're gonna start with the So Saffron and that's gonna go here. And then we're gonna do the Smoky Slate. This is, that one really is Smoky Slate. We're gonna do So Saffron and one more Smoky Slate. So we're just adding these circles for a backdrop. Now why yellow and gray? My daughter is graduating from high school and her grad colors, her school colors are yellow and gray. So I wanted to make a little card for her. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of texture in the background. This is the coordinating stamp set to that those beautiful dies called Hello Beautiful. There's lots of fun abstract shapes in there. So bringing in Smoky Slate, we're gonna add a few little dots to the background. Just like this. And then we've got our little dotty center. So let me show you the finished project. So I brought in the greeting from the um, Slim Sayings. And here is the finished card with some of the black um, baker's twine and adding some of those neutral matte dots. So let me show you the finished projects one more time. Isn't that technique fun? Um, okay, so we've got our, our fun technique for the background. We have watercolor pencils with our color lifter and we have just traditional color lifting. And if you're thinking to yourself, Lindsay, why don't I have these products? Be sure to go to my online store and you can shop to your heart's content and find yourself a color lifter or replace your color lifter. These do have a lifespan just like paper do. Um, so once the fluid is gone, you're gonna wanna replace it, but it's only $6. So it's a good add on if you're ever like, ooh, I wonder what I should get to top up my order. I'm gonna flip you around so we can chat face to face. Hi, so those of you who have placed an order of $60 or greater in the last six months with me, your catalogs went in the mail this week, so you should have them in your hand within the next day or so. Hopefully it's in your inbox, your mailbox right now, right? Like, oh, how fun would that be to have to peek over over the weekend? If you'd like a copy of the catalog, be sure to message me and we can um, figure out how to get you one. Okay, friends, thank you so much for joining me on this beautiful Friday. It's always a pleasure to get to craft with you. And um, by all means, if you um, would like to place an order before the month end, I have a class that will hop in the mail for you right away. Okay, can't wait to share episode 100 with you. Watch my Facebook page for more details on that to come. Okay, bye for now.